Have you ever glanced at a star and wondered about its journey? Well, Stevie Nicks, with all of her ethereal voice and magnetic presence, is legendary in the vast cosmos of rock and pop. All the same, all the same. So my dad would say, go ahead, Louie, hit it, rock a little, hit the stage, get up. Her tale is a riveting fusion of music, love, trials, and triumphs. You can talk to me, use me From her early days as a waitress with big dreams, to her ascension as a defining voice of a generation. Maybe once, maybe yes, you will take another beautiful picture. Yes, you will walk on stage in a long black skinny dress again. Stevie's story is filled with both captivating highs and heart-wrenching lows. Today, we'll explore the roller coaster life of the legend herself, the enchanting Stevie Nicks. From humble beginnings to stardom, Stevie Nicks was born in Arizona in 1948, heralding the onset of a new rock and roll legend. However, the path to stardom was neither immediate nor without its own set of challenges. Her early years were painted as a portrait of hard life. With her father Jesse Nix serving as the vice president of Greyhound, the family was frequently on the move. From the bustling streets of San Francisco and Los Angeles to the serene landscapes of Albuquerque and Salt Lake City, young Stevie had found herself adapting and readapting. These frequent relocations could have been disorienting for many, but for Stevie, it added layers to her personality. Every new city brought new experiences, stories, and rhythms that would later find their way into her songs. But even amidst the whirlwind of relocation, music remained a constant and an anchor in her life. Her maternal grandfather, A.J. Nix, had became her early muse. Although her parents had denied her going on tour with him, he remained undeterred. He brought music to her in the cozy confines of their home. His records spun tales of love, loss, and hope, and young Stevie, with wide-eyed wonder, would lose herself in the harmonies. Can you even imagine the scene? A young girl with dreams bigger than the vast Arizona sky, swaying to the beats and crafting her own stories. It would not be only the influence of her grandfather that set her on the path of music. When she turned 16, her world was about to change. As a birthday gift, she would receive her first guitar, a symbol of the universe conspiring to guide her into her destiny. With the guitar cradled in her arms, she penned Love and Not Lost, inspired by a high school heartthrob named Steve. This song was not only a simple composition, it was her first step into a world of storytelling using melodies and rhythm. High school was not only about teenage crushes and fleeting memories, it would be there that Stevie would plunge headfirst into the music scene by joining her first band. A folk rock ensemble known as The Changing Times was only the beginning of her illustrious career. While in high school, she also crossed paths with Lindsey Buckingham. Their meeting was not only a chance encounter at a club, it was a serendipitous collision of musical souls. And when his psychedelic rock band Fritz found itself in need of a lead singer, Stevie stepped in with her voice adding a brand new dimension to the band's sound. Yet, as with many artists, the road to fame would be fraught with hurdles. The duo's initial venture, an album named Buckingham Nicks, underperformed, a far cry from the legendary status they would achieve in the future. Stevie, undeterred by the setback, had continued to harbor dreams of musical success, even as life took her on a detour. Juggling multiple jobs, from waiting tables to cleaning houses, she had hoped and prayed for a big break. And as the universe would have it, her perseverance and raw talent would not be ignored for long. Little did she know that her darkest days were more than mere shadows before the dawn of stardom. The setbacks and struggles, the hustles, they all paved the way for Stevie's ascent to musical royalty. Every challenge that she faced and city that she moved to, every tune that she hummed, would shape the legend that we know and adore today. From a simple girl in Phoenix to one of rock and pop's most enduring icons, Stevie Nicks' journey shows the power of dreams, talent, and relentless determination. The Tumultuous Love Stories of a Rock Star Love and music will often go hand in hand, and for Stevie Nicks, both were intensely intertwined. Forming melodies of passion, joy, pain, and heartbreak, her relationships, particularly her turbulent romance with Lindsey Buckingham, added depth and dimension to her music, making her songs resonate with fans worldwide. The story of Stevie and Lindsey is one that could rival any epic love tale, when the two met during their high school years, it would be evident 
that fate had conspired to intertwine their destinies. Their bond was not merely a teenage infatuation, their mutual admiration for each other's talents saw them blending not only hearts, but also harmonies. It was during a gig where Lindsay played California Dreaming that Stevie joined him, creating an impromptu duet marking the inception of a union that would both create and destroy. Their alliance was not only musical, it had the intensity and fervor of young love, and together they navigated the labyrinth of the music industry, supporting each other during the lows and celebrating the highs. However, love, especially when it's mixed with fame, is not always smooth sailing. As the two began to find success, personal rifts and creative differences would begin to emerge. The pressures of the industry, combined with their fiery personalities, had led to a bittersweet ending of their romance, and while their love story might have concluded, their musical partnership endured. Albeit peppered with emotional strains, many of their songs became reflective diaries of their love, passion, disagreements, and eventual separation. But Lindsay was not the only chapter in Stevie's romantic anthology. Her heart's compass would often find itself pointing to fellow musicians. There was a magnetic pull towards Mick Fleetwood, the founder of Fleetwood Mac, and the secret affair, wrapped in the layers of rock and roll decadence, was as thrilling as it was disastrous. Their whirlwind romance crumbled when Stevie caught him with her best friend Sarah. The pain of betrayal, intensified by the close-knit nature of the band, was obvious. Yet, like true artists, both transformed their feelings into music, creating tracks that remain timeless to this day. Perhaps the most impactful time in Stevie's love life was her impulsive decision to marry Kim Anderson, the husband of her late best friend. Grief has a peculiar way of influencing decisions, and in Stevie's case, it would lead her down the aisle that she would later regret. The marriage was an attempt to find solace and to heal wounds that were fresh and painful, but a mere three months later she realized the enormity of her mistake. The union, rather than providing comfort, had turned out to be a painful reminder of the loss that they were both trying to cope with. They didn't get married because they were in love, they got married because they were grieving. Beyond those relationships, there were other notable liaisons, which included with the likes of Don Henley and J.D. Souther. While some had brought joy, others had left scars, and her brief involvement with Henley, for instance, had life-altering consequences when she had to make the heartbreaking decision to undergo an abortion. It's evident that her romantic relationships were complex and full of love, passion, pain, and lessons, yet despite the emotional upheavals, they enriched her music. Each relationship and heartbreak, each joy, they all became notes and lyrics and tunes. Her songs were not only melodies, they were moments of her life, narrating tales of a love lost and found, of heartbreak and healing, and through her relationships, she not only lived the life of a rock star, she had experienced the full spectrum of love's tumultuous journey. Dark Days, The Battle with Addiction the glitz and glam of the rock and roll lifestyle will often cast a blinding spotlight, masking the shadows that are lurking beneath. And for Stevie Nicks, as with many stars of her era, those shadows took the form of a fierce battle with addiction. Behind the shimmering gowns and enchanting voice was a woman who was grappling with demons that had threatened to consume her. The 1970s and 80s, characterized by their hedonistic exuberance, saw cocaine becoming the drug du jour of the music industry, and for Fleetwood Mac, the band already notorious for its internal drama, drugs became an inextricable part of their story. Stevie, despite her ethereal presence, was not immune to its allure. What began as recreational use, buoyed by the misconception that it was harmless, had soon spiraled into dependency. As she would later recount to Chris Isaac in 2009, they were led to believe that it was non-threatening, and this naivety, coupled with the pressures of stardom, had created the perfect storm. The drug, though initially a stimulant that perhaps enhanced the band's electric performances, soon began to extract its soul. And for Stevie, the addiction was not only about the high, it also became a crutch and a way to navigate the tumultuous waters of her personal and professional life. The veneer of invincibility that drugs offers is only an illusion, during her tour in Australia in 1986, a chilling warning from a plastic surgeon had jolted her. She was teetering on the edge, and one more gram may prove fatal, sending her collapsing on stage. This grim prognosis was a wake-up call for Stevie Nicks. Recognizing the depth of addiction, she had sought refuge in the Betty Ford Center, a haven for many celebrities of the era who were battling similar demons. Those 30 days of rehab were a desperate attempt to wrestle control from the vice-like grip of cocaine. 
However, as anyone who's familiar with the treacherous path of addiction knows, the journey to sobriety is often riddled with relapse. Stevie's initial tryst with recovery would be short-lived. The haunting specter of addiction had resurfaced, pulling her back into its depths, and the solution would be a prescription of clonopin, intended to prevent a cocaine relapse. Instead of being the panacea that she hoped for, it ensnared her in another cycle of dependency. The drug, while curbing her cocaine cravings, had brought with it its own set of chains. The physical repercussions of Stevie's addiction were evident, but it wasn't only her health that bore the brunt. Her art, relationships, and psyche were all affected. There's a certain rawness to the songs from that era, a reflection of the tumult within. Cocaine was not only a substance that she had consumed, it had also consumed her, to the point where even her beloved poodle inadvertently partook in her addiction, mistaking her stash for food. Yet, as dark as those days were, Stevie's spirit remained resilient and steadfast. The battle with addiction, though harrowing, was one that she was determined to win, and the road to recovery paved with introspection, therapy, and sheer willpower would be challenging. However, Stevie, with her characteristic grit, had trudged on, emerging on the other side, scarred but stronger. The narrative of Stevie Nicks is not only about the bewitching voice that gave us hits, like Landslide, but it also is about a woman who's battling her inner demons, a fight that many silently wage away from the limelight. And in sharing her story, Stevie not only highlights the perils of addiction, but also offers hope. Hope that, even in our darkest moments, recovery, though a distant speck on the horizon, is possible. It's an example of the human spirit's ability to heal, grow, and find its way back to the music. The Supernatural Aura – Is Stevie a Witch? In the sprawling annals of rock and roll, Stevie Nicks occupies a unique space, one that transcends mere music and explores the realm of the mystical. Over the years, alongside accolades for her musical prowess, whispers about her supposed ties to the supernatural have persisted. And central to those whispers is the beguiling question, is Stevie Nicks a witch? The seed of this speculation, interestingly, can be traced back to her music itself. The haunting melodies and ethereal lyrics, they all paint the picture of a woman who was more than just human, perhaps a sorceress or a goddess. Stevie's evocative performances, where she seemed to channel an otherworldly energy, only fanned the flames of such rumors. The allure of her music, coupled with her distinct and witchy style, flowy dresses, crescent moon necklaces, and lace shawls, have all made many wonder if art was imitating life or life was coming through in the art. Digging a bit deeper, the origins of Rhiannon offer a clue. The song was inspired by a novel that Stevie had chanced upon during an airport layover titled Triad. The book spins the tale of a woman who is possessed by another woman, and intriguingly, there's a connection to ancient Welsh mythology where the woman is a goddess who's associated with horses and birds. But did her inspiration from a book and mythological figure necessarily translate to a personal association with witchcraft? The narrative takes another twist when she made an appearance on the popular show American Horror Story Coven in 2014. She played herself and was portrayed as a white witch, adding another layer to the already swirling rumors. The lines between fiction and reality began to blur for many fans, was Stevie merely playing a character, or was she, in a sense, revealing a hidden truth? However, the truth, as often is the case, is more than grounded. Stevie, throughout her career, has neither openly claimed to be a witch, nor professed any deep involvement in the dark arts. Instead, she seems to revel in the aura of mystery that surrounds her. In interviews, she's spoken about her fascination with the idea and the myth, but always in the context of her music and stage persona. The witchy aesthetic, she suggests, is more about an artistic expression, a way to manifest the strong and magical essence of womanhood rather than any literal affliction with witchcraft. Yet it's also essential to recognize why such narratives will gain traction. The world of rock and pop, especially in the 70s and 80s, would be rife with tales of artists who were dabbling in the occult, and moreover, powerful women, with their allure, have historically been labeled as witches often as a way to explain and sometimes undermine their charisma and influence. Stevie, with her mesmerizing presence, was no exception. In many ways, the rumors, rather than diminishing her, only enhanced her allure. They added a layer of mystery, making audiences even more captivated by her performances. And for the fans, whether she was or was not a witch became secondary. 
What had mattered was the magic that she brought to the stage and the spell that she cast with her voice. Musical Triumphs and Career Milestones In the constellation of rock and pop icons, Stevie Nicks shines brightly. Beyond the tales of love, heartbreak, and rumored witchcraft lay a legacy that's built on musical genius. Over her career, spanning more than five decades, she's not only sung songs, but has crafted anthems, etching her name into the annals of music history. The journey, though beginning with modest gigs and underperforming albums, soon took a meteoric rise with Fleetwood Mac. Their combined genius resulted in some of the most iconic tracks of the era. Songs like Dreams, Gold Dust Woman, and The Chain all became not only chart toppers, but also timeless classics. The album Rumors, on which these tracks appear, is witness to their combined brilliance, receiving the Grammy Award for Album of the Year in 1978. Such accolades were not only mere trophies, but more emblematic of their profound impact that the music had made on an entire generation. Stevie's solo ventures were no less triumphant. Albums like Belladonna had stamped her authority as a solo artist, and tracks such as Edge of Seventeen and Leather and Lace had further showcased her versatility, proving that Stevie Nicks was a force to be reckoned with both within a group and on her own. That recognition kept pouring in. The undeniable power of her voice, her songwriting prowess, and her unmatched stage presence had garnered accolades and awards galore. Billboard's Greatest of All Time lists featured both Rumors and Belladonna, a nod to her consistent brilliance. But beyond the awards and charts, what truly stands out is Stevie's spirit to evolve and reinvent herself. Over the years, the music industry has underwent tectonic shifting. The age of vinyl gave way to the era of digital, yet Stevie's essence remained undiluted. However, with changing times also comes a hint of skepticism. The once-beloved process started to feel less appealing, mainly due to the economic dynamics of the music business itself. Making a record is not all that fun, Stevie would say, which highlighted a sentiment that was felt by many artists of her time. The thrill, she felt, was now in live performance, connecting with audiences and feeling the energy of the crowd. But it wasn't only about the stage lights and roaring audiences. Her heart had room for more than just music. Her compassion had led her to spend time with wounded soldiers, making her a beacon of hope for many, and her dedication would be recognized in 2015 by the USO. That further solidified her position, not only as a musical icon, but also as a humanitarian. Yet amidst these shifts in perspective and priority, her love for music remained unwavering. Retirement was a word that many would associate with a career as long and illustrious as hers, but it was not in her lexicon. She was not ready to retire and emphasized her intent to keep on creating, mesmerizing, and singing. Stevie Nicks the Humanitarian The world has known Stevie Nicks as the enchantress of rock, the poetic lyricist, and the bewitching performer, but beyond the stage lights and roaring applause, there lies yet another dimension often overshadowed by her larger-than-life musical persona. That would be her role as a compassionate humanitarian. While her songs have touched hearts and mended broken ones, Stevie's dedication to wounded soldiers has showcased a commitment to transcend lyrics and melodies. Behind the mystical aura of the musician is a heart that's deeply attuned to the pain of others, particularly those who have faced the harsh reality of war. Stevie's journey in supporting wounded soldiers would begin in 2006, Although the world of rock and roll may seem worlds apart from the war-torn terrain, Stevie had found a bridge, recognizing the immense physical and psychological toll that wars exact on soldiers. She decided to offer her support in a way that would be profoundly personal. It wasn't only about charity checks or public endorsements, it was about actually spending time, listening and being present. And over the years, she had frequently visited injured service members, offering them not only her company, but also sharing stories, singing songs, and sometimes just simply holding their hands. These moments, away from the camera's flash and the reporter's pen, were about genuine human connection. Soldiers, some who were battling intense physical pain, and others who were grappling emotional scars, had found solace within her presence. And for them, Stevie was not the rock icon, she was a beacon of hope, and a reminder that beyond their battles and their wounds, the world held kindness and music. What drove Stevie to this cause? Well, it wasn't merely a whim or a passing phase. It was a deep-seated desire to give back and use her status and influence for a cause that truly mattered. 
The wars, though distant from the concert halls and recording studios, were real and their aftermath even more so. By dedicating her time and energy, she not only supported the soldiers, she was acknowledging their sacrifice while ensuring that they weren't forgotten. Her efforts didn't go unnoticed. The USO, an organization that's renowned for its support to service members, honored Stevie in 2015. And this recognition was not only about her celebrity status, it was a display of her dedication. And according to the Military Times, she held the distinction of spending the most hours visiting combat wounded service members over a five year span. Numbers, often cold and impersonal, in this case had painted a picture of warmth, commitment, and relentless dedication. Yet for Stevie, it was never about the accolades or the recognition. It was about the smiles that she could bring and the hope that she could instill, the moments of respite that she could offer amidst the pain. The soldier stories had become part of her, influencing her art and outlook, and they were reminders of the world outside, battles that were more significant than chart rankings, and of the human spirit and resilience. In the history of Stevie Nicks's life, her humanitarian efforts may seem like subtle threads compared to the vibrant hues of her musical achievements, but these threads are strong, binding the fabric of her legacy in ways that are both profound and enduring. Living a Legacy Stevie Nicks, with her spellbinding voice and magnetic stage presence, has always been more than a musician. Over the decades, she has woven a legacy that seamlessly blends music, mystery, and an unyielding spirit, and today, her journey serves as a fantastic example of her talent, tenacity, and uncanny ability to evolve with the times. It would be easy to look at her net worth, estimated at a staggering $120 million, and attribute it solely to her musical success. But the figure, as impressive as it is, encapsulates more than just album sales and concert tickets. It embodies a lifetime of pushing boundaries, challenging the norm, and continually reinventing oneself. From her early days with Fleetwood Mac to her illustrious solo career, Stevie's financial stature is as much about her business acumen as it is her artistry. But while wealth is a tangible measure of success, Stevie's true stature in the industry is immeasurable. She's not only a member of a rock and roll pantheon, she's a trailblazer who carved a niche, her influence permeating multiple generations of artists from pop divas to indie rockers, and many have cited Stevie as an inspiration pointing to her unique voice, her poetic songwriting, and that indefinable aura that sets her apart. Her impact, however, goes well beyond the notes and lyrics. Over the years, she has come to represent a certain kind of strength, a blending of vulnerability and resilience that resonates deeply with her listeners. For many, her songs have been comforting companions during moments of heartbreak, joy, and introspection. Tracks like Landslide or Silver Springs all have a timeless quality speaking to a universal emotion that remains relevant across decades. This ability to connect, to touch souls, has ensured that Stevie's relevance even today stands strong. In an industry where becoming obsolete is often the norm, her music has defied time. Modern artists spanning genres frequently cover her songs, reintroducing her magic to a newer audience. Collaborations with contemporary musicians and appearances in popular culture have further solidified her position as an evergreen icon. Yet for Stevie, the journey has not been all about chasing relevance or clinging to past laurels. It's been about growth, introspection, and a constant dialogue with her art. In recent times, she's spoken candidly about the challenging dynamics of the music industry. The shifts, both technological and cultural, have all influenced her perspectives on recording music. While the allure of live performance remains undiminished, the economics and mechanics of producing an album have elicited a more pragmatic approach. But then, adapting to change, while also staying true to one's essence, has always been her forte. Away from the music, her life today is a blending of reflection and engagement, and her residence in Santa Monica is both a sanctuary and a repository of memories. It's where the past meets the present, where Platinum Records might share space with mementos from her humanitarian endeavors. As Stevie Nicks navigates her current life, there's an overarching sense of contentment, a feeling that she's living her legacy rather than just leaving one behind. Her influence, be it on budding musicians or on fans who find space and solace within her songs, is ongoing. And it's not just about what she's achieved, but about how she's continued to inspire, uplift, and connect.